Hi guys, welcome to this plumberparts.co.uk video. My name's James. I'm going to tell you today how to fit this amazing Aqualiza Minor shower that we've got next to us here. One of my personal favourites. I've got one in my house. I've had it about four or five years and it's still working absolutely fine. So I thought I've got the perfect opportunity, a lovely little shower room here to show you how to fit one of these bar showers. So I'm going to show you how to fit the bar, how to fit the riser rail and how to get it all working. I hope you enjoy the video guys. Please do subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter and obviously subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope you like this video guys. If you've got any more questions at the end, just write them in the comments below. See you soon guys and remember to hold tight. Guys, before I unbox the new shower, let's just have a look at what we've done here already. What we've done is we've run our hot and cold up and in the back of this uh, wall here when we were first fixing, and because we knew we were gonna be fitting an Aqualiza Minus in here, I knew that I was gonna put my pipe widths at 150 millimeters. What we've done there then, is we knew how wide our shower tray was gonna be. It was gonna be 900 wide. We measured 450 to the center to get the center of that, and then measured out 75, and then put a level in there, and then we've got our actual positions then for our pipes. We've got copper stubs sticking out. Another thing I've done as well is I brought my uh, hot and cold flow and return back to behind the unit that's behind you, uh, and I've popped the valves for the shower in there. So if you have a problem with the shower at all, we can actually individually valve it off without having to shut the rest of the hot water and the cold water system down. It's little things like that that help. So if we do get a little leak here or here, we know that we don't have to shut the whole system off and we're fine. So then guys, before you start, remember 150 mil centers between those two there, and also make sure that they're nice and level before you continue. So then guys, let's actually unbox what we've got here in this absolute beast. Make sure that the safety seal is still on and rip it apart like a wanton animal desperate to fit a shower. <laughs> So if we look at it all in the cold light of day, we've got our bar mixer here, the actual Midas mixer. This is where everything starts. We've got our main riser rail. We've got our crook for over the top and our big pan head. And then incorporating all that together is our wall clip mount here, our lovely little shower head here, the retainer as well for the shower hose, and then two different types of actual fitting kit as well in case you've got pipes that are off center. Use these to get this nice and centered up. We should be using these ones today. These are the actual lovely proper ones and make it really easy. Got our actual Aqualiza pinch grip that will move our slider for our handset up and down. Right then guys, well first up, now that we're actually sort of at an install stage of this job, we can now have a look and see exactly what the features are on one of these Aqualiza Midas's. Number one, they don't get hot. They've got this like soft touch or cold touch technology. So if you've got kids there, obviously the left hand side is gonna be a hot, donated by the actual red stickers on the back and the blue here for the cold. And sometimes on some showers, this can get really, really hot here. And Aqualiza have got over that with this like cool technology. God knows how it works, but it doesn't get warm. Cool, it's still pressure tested. <laughs> how about that? Just to prove that we've got our centers right, we pop that under there and they're absolutely bang on. That's really, really good to see. So what I need to do now is unpack the actual special pack that we've got here because our centers are absolutely bang on. Just dismount this for you real quick, show you how these fittings actually work. So if we look inside this sort of integral fitting wall plate pack all together, you'll notice there's a little taper in here and there's also a little taper in here. And what that does, that takes our copper pipe through there, pop an olive over our copper pipe and then do it up. So I'm just gonna do that now really lightly and then we can actually make sure that our centers are correct and make sure that our plates are level as well. So guys, this is the way I've always done this. <clears throat> Firstly, what we've got to do is I like to mock up the actual installation of the whole shower valve, make sure it's all level and everything before we actually do the work itself. So to do that, we need to get our olive on here. <clears throat> Right, so then we've got our olive, and this is what creates our watertight seal. And then the actual compression side of it, as you can see we've got a little flat on here and here, that's gonna pop around there like so. So, from that point on, you know you've got to cut this pipe so it allows this to do up, and it doesn't sort of jam on the bottom of that jumper in there. So we know that we've got to cut our pipe just about here, but we need to leave an adequate amount of pipe to allow our olive to actually grip onto it a bit as well. So, Pop our olive on there. Is you can very quickly mock up the whole install and then we can get our level and then know that everything's in exactly the right place. 
So now I can just lightly screw my Aqualizer on. So now that you've kind of mopped up the installation, I've pushed these two plates back to the wall, pop this down like so, and get it so we're level, and then I just draw a little line. So now I can whip this off. So now you can see we've just got a nice faint outline around here that we can mark these up and get our holes drilled. A quick way to double check as well is to measure from like the top corner of this hole to the top corner of that hole. It should read 150. There you go, bang on. And also if you really want to, you can just check the centers of those as well to make sure they're nice and level and that's absolutely bang on. We've got our holes drilled, we've got our plugs in. I hope you noticed the little technique I use for getting the plugs last in. I don't usually like hitting them all the way in with a hammer, so I'll get like a soft bit, like a bit of plastic on the end of this screwdriver and just tap the screwdriver on the end of the plug to stop us damaging any tiles. Now, obviously we're in a wet environment here. We've got a big gap behind here. So before we actually put on our plate and screw them on, it's a really, really good idea to get some mastic in there. Um, try and use a uh, mastic that also acts like a glue. So a CT1 is really good or some of this Hippo Pro 3. So it's an adhesive, it's a sealant and it's also a filler. So that's really, really handy. You can obviously use standard silicone, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but this is belt and braces. I always put a little bit in the hole of each one of these as well. So I'll just do this one here. And then once we've got all that on, we can just push on and then pretty much get our screws in. Right, so now that we've got these two on, I'll just show you on this one here, such a simple procedure, but all we need to do is pop our olive round here, you can see it sits in there nicely like so. Then we pop our shroud over the top like this. Now I recommend when you do this bit, just don't go mental, that's all I'm gonna say. We don't want any slips to happen, we're near, you know, fragile and decorative stuff here, so just a nice little grab like so, and then grab your adjustable like that and just nip this up lightly. It doesn't want to be mental. We just want to get this up. You don't want to get this wrong. You want to know you're, you're right on there. And that's about as far as I want to go with that. Once you've got that bit on, you can pop your decorative fascia on just like so and do that to the other side as well. So once you've got both of these on, you can pop your level over the top of that, just to make sure. The easiest bit is next, I mean, it's all pretty easy to be honest, but we get our two washers with filters on there, and what they're gonna do, they're gonna sit in here like so. All we need to do is offer up our valve and lightly nip these nuts up. You don't have to go mental because they're on rubber washers, so don't over tighten them. We don't wanna damage the fittings that we put in the wall. So we've got our shower bar valve on here now. I'm not gonna turn the water on just yet. So all we need to do now is figure out how we're gonna have do our riser like so. The first thing I'd do if I was you was just make up the top crook. You have to have a quick look at exactly what you've got in here. We've got a small hex just inside here like so, and we've got a hex with a thread and a washer on here as well. This plate will go back to the wall, and we're gonna try and keep it so our Allen key at the top is covered by pointing upwards. We don't want that pointing down, otherwise people can see it. So what we do, we push this all the way in, making sure that our hexes line up. Hopefully you can see there that the hexes have lined up and also that the thread and the washer are fully through. That means that we've got a thread in the end of our actual main riser bar here, we can just push this in, get this threaded on now. Now that I've built up our whole riser and that we're all there, the next thing I'm gonna do is just mock it up. Now don't worry guys, I will be putting on all our brackets for our hoses and everything in a minute, but for now they kind of just get in the way while we try and finish off this particular stage of the job. So I'm just gonna quickly mock this up so it's roughly in the right place. And then it's a very, very simple job now. All we need to do is get our spirit level. We can either use our small boat level like so. Just pop that on here. Showing level. And also just give it your eye as well. Just give it the eye. And I'm just gonna mark around here. Like so. Oh, I'm just gonna test that again in a sec. So now I know exactly where my level is for that. And another good thing, now that we've got it off out of the way, I can just 
pop a larger spirit level on here and just make sure, get that lined up with the center of that hole there, lined up with the center there, and yeah, we're absolutely bang on. There's a small Allen key provided by Aqualiza, so we're just gonna slacken this off now, and then we can pull this plate off like so, mark our hole in the center exactly up there, and then basically drill our hole and get this attached to the wall. So there we go, we've got our top clip in here and everything. But before we carry on, I fully recommend that you put in the actual pinch grip right now, just pop that on nice and easily. That just goes in as far up as you like really, just get that in the right place. And also our shower hose retainer, just pop that round the end and push that all the way up, out the way. Now, simple as anything, got a little rubber O-ring, just pop that in the end here. And now we can pop this on like so. Then you can marry that up, offer it onto here, and just do that up nice and lightly for a sec. Then we can pop our top clamp in just like so. We're just gonna loosen off our Allen key at the top. And then use our spirit level, we'll just pop our pinch grip out of the way down here to make sure that our shower head, our actual shower riser is level off the wall. And once we've got that where we want it, just pop our Allen key up there, nip that up, and that is our riser installed. The rest of this job is so easy, it's ridiculous. So now that's all done, if you need instruction to do this next bit, putting the hose on for the shower, then perhaps it's not a great idea you uh, try and install your own shower valve. We've just got two rubber washers in here, very easy for me just to twist our shower head on, only needs to go hand tight, and then, We'll push our hose down through our retainer into our pinch grip like that. Just gonna pop that up here and then we just do it up down. Make sure you twist your hose so it's in a position where it's not sort of flopping out in front of you, otherwise that can get quite annoying. And now really easy, we just take all the covering off our massive pan head, make sure that our rubber washer's in there, it should be packed with it in there already. And basically you just screw it up there on top, lightly nip up with an adjustable spanner, and now we're ready to turn the water on. So we've got the shower in, the water's back on, I just popped under there and turned our two valves on and I have had it running. This is the bit I always love, that you guys can sit there at home nice and dry, something that every plumber's got to do, and it's test out the actual shower, make sure that the operation's okay. So, twist it towards you, twist the shower towards you, look at that. Absolutely wicked. And if we turn it away, we've got the Amazing, I mean that is, I mean at home, the one I always use is this drizzle head like this. You know, I usually sing like my whole repertoire of Lion King songs while I'm in here as well. It's just the, the Aqualiza Minus brings that kind of feeling out of me. It's getting pretty warm in here and I don't want to steam up the camera lenses. It's <laughs> steaming up already. <laughs> so as you can see, when you get an Aqualiza Midas, you've got the whole set there. In this set, we've got the bar mixer, we've got the riser rail, and also we've got the shower head and the flexible shower head as well, used for sort of rinsing off stuff, bits and bobs like that. As I said earlier, it's safe touch, so the hot side doesn't get hot. It's not gonna get scalding hot for your kids if they're like low down, and you're not gonna accidentally scold any parts of your body that might get near that shower bar valve. Separate controls for temperature and on and off. Uh, like I said, push away to get the top pan head going and then turn the right hand knob towards you to get the flexible hose going. The Harmony shower handset you've got up here has got four different flow settings on it. So anything from a lovely rain effect all the way down to insane jet if you like that sort of shower that's gonna be able to accommodate you there as well. Like I said earlier, it's really easy with the pinch grip to move up and down. And also you've got this anti-kink hose on here, which I don't actually see any other manufacturers using, which is really nice as well. Just quickly say with the pan heads, they often have quite a bit of water in them once you're finished. What I do with my one, if you don't wanna hear it dripping for ages, just twist it up like that and loads of water will come out, it'll come out a lot quicker. That's what I do at my house. And also, because most shower bar valves have 150 outlets, especially if you've got an old external one, to change over and retrofit the new Aqualiza Midas, so easy to do. Just follow what we've done in the video, it's easy peasy. 
So there you go guys, we've got a lovely new Aqualiza Midas in here now. We've got the water on, we've tested it, it works brilliantly. The thermostatic control on the left is absolutely brilliant. You can get baking hot for the women out there. I don't know one single man that likes a baking hot shower. You've got fantastic temperature control for the kids and also the lukewarm shower that I love after I've been playing cricket or going for a run. If you need any more help or any more information, please comment in the comments section below. Click that like button if you think we've helped you out. And if you need any more help, please do comment. It really, really helps us out. Please subscribe by clicking on the link that's appearing right now, somewhere, <laughs> uh, and subscribe to our videos. We always try and have loads of fun with plumbing disasters. And also, please follow us at Instagram. I'm doing loads there now of Instagram stories, and I love Instagram. And obviously follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat as well. I'll see you soon, guys, and remember to hold tight. Now there's one thing I'm gonna do, and I've never done before, before the owners come home. Look at the photo that's on Aqualiza's box, yeah? I want to know, is it true? And sometimes, for your brothers, really love one another. It's so hard to find. Oh, mate, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, right, I've got to go before someone comes home. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't think I've ever, ever got down to my boxes in a customer's house before, but there you go, it's the first time for everything. <laughs> right, I've got to ring my boxes out now, get my clothes back on, get packed away and leg it. Thanks for watching this video today, guys. If you need any more help, any more info, give us a shout. See you soon. Look. Where's boxes? Washed all the skid marks out, though, didn't I? Lovely.